Happy Monday, guys. I'm back with another episode of Terraining, where we're going to be climbing the VGC 18 ladder. A lot of commentary as we go along the way. The team we have today is going to be a little interesting of a team. It's actually a team that I brought to the Collinsville Regional Championships, where I went 5-3, and three, placing 45th place, and losing to Carson Comfer in the last round. Um, this team was also used by John Mark Herbert, who just went to the Costa Mesa Regional and placed 10th at the Regional. Um, just verbatim, same exact sets. The team features Iron Ball, Orangaroo, Choice Specs, Torkoal, Phytanium Z, Cartana, Choice Scarf, Lele, uh, sorry, Mega Blaziken, and Smeargle. Smeargle is just pretty the standard spread I've been using on the channel. It's the Instruct, Spore, Follow Me, Wide Guard spread. Uh, everything else you're just going to kind of kind of have to see for yourself. We're going to hop right into our game. Our rating is going to be 16-12 with a win-loss of 15-9. and nine. I think that's just kind of what we've been on since like last time. First opponent is going to be a pretty scary matchup, actually, as, um, yeah, this is actually pretty scary, guys. Okay, so, let me make sure this Smeargle spreads right, because this impacts what I want to bring. Yeah. I was just testing out some stuff, and I wanted to make sure that it was right. Mega Blaziken has a pretty good matchup versus the team. He's going to set up Sun for me, and I can Oko, like, four of his things with Flare Blitz, um, and Low Kick, of course. I have Rock Tomb to deal with the Charizard. Low Kick will do a ton of the Hydreigon. Um, I kind of want to bring the Trick Room mode, but like, the one that's kind of scary here. I think I want to lead like something like Smeargle Blaziken. That kind of restricts a lot what he can bring. Lele, of course, will be in the back. And Kartana's pretty suboptimal, actually, in this matchup. Just because... But I think I want it just for the Feeny. Um... I think he's going to probably over-prepare for the Torkoal mode, and I want to be able to take advantage of it. The Heatran is the only thing really preventing me from bringing the Torkoal mode in this game, just because it's not a lot of fun to face when it resists your eruptions. So, we're going to be... This will be hopping into our first match of the day. Hopefully we can do well with it, and we're going to be having some fun. Alright, so the team has been... It was a team I used actually a lot in the 17 format. I just swapped a Porygon Z for a Mega Blaziken, just because Mega Blaziken filled the roles that Porygon Z kind of did. It had the Rock Tomb for Charizard. It low Kick did a lot of damage to Tyranitar and Heatran, which were the two things I was really fearing with the team. So what did I lead? I led Blaziken, Smeargle. Yeah, this is fine. So this gives me a pretty safe play, actually. I can just... um. If he has Whimsicott, then I'm really not worried, because that means he probably has Charizard, and that means that he can't really offer a lot of offensive pressure here. So, oh wait, yeah, if he brought Whimsicott, I'm going to guess it's Charizard he ran in the back, just by looking at the team comp. This is going to be more of a defensive play, but I feel like it's one that's really good to make. I'm going to Spore, and I'm going to switch in my Tapu Lele. We should be faster than the... I mean, yeah. We should be faster than the Finny, so we can put it to sleep. And then the Hitmontop is extremely threatened the next turn. So we can probably just go for a double target on the Finny with Psychics. Hitmontop does just go for Fake Out, and we're going to get a free Spore. And that's really good for us. So the Hitmontop's probably going to switch here into something like the Heatran. Um, I'm actually completely fine with that. Accuracy doesn't matter as long as we don't drop in our speed. Oh, we do drop in our speed. That means we, we still probably outspeed the Hitmontop, so that's not really as important. I think we instruct Psychic the Feedy here. Um, not a lot of Feenies take 252 Psychic, um, like a Psychenium, and that's the same equivalent. So that's going to be what I'm going to be going for here. Uh, the Hitmontop is just more likely to switch out or something, so like, I'm not too worried about it. Feeny actually switches out. Is it going to be Heatran or something? Yeah, okay. So it's still going to take like 60%. Oh, Hitmontop switches out as well. Oh, it is the Whimsicott. Ooh, okay. This is still going to take a decent chunk. Yeah, look at that damage. It's going to take like 70%. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so he doesn't have Charizard... Mega Blaziken kind of has a decent matchup versus two of his monsters just can't do much. 
Gordon Scott also doesn't offer a lot of offensive pressure. I would guess by the team comp that it's either going to be Sasha or Malian. So I think I'm, this is pretty safe. I don't know if he's above substitute range. I think I want to just like spore here and just raw psychic the uh, one Sakat. There's a couple of plays that he could do. I would honestly not be surprised if he just went for like protect tailwind, but I also want to account for like him not protecting. I also think he might just switch into Feeny and like taunt my Smeargle. He train actually just does protect, so we're probably just going to see the tail in this turn. Yeah. If he's not Sash, then I think this might just kill the Wimscott, which is really good. <laughs> okay. Wait, this is still, I think, fine. Alright, so I want to count. I think he's most likely going to, like, Heat Wave. Uh, so I'm going to Psychic Wide Guard. This burns a turn. Also, Wimscott doesn't really do a whole lot to me, so... Maybe I should have targeted the Wimscott. Now nah, he trains the biggest threat to Kartana, so, like, just removing that gives me a lot of, like, options. He does withdraw. Probably the Feeny coming in. Yeah. So he should live the Psychic. Potentially, it's, it'll, be, it'll be close. The Feeny's asleep, so it doesn't do really a whole lot here. I expected to just go for, like, Heat Wave. That's the safest play. Our Lele stops speeds. We don't kill... He's not Pinchberry, that's good. Alright, well... He doesn't outspeed, so, like, I think we just, like, switch in Kartana here. Because I don't think, I think Finney's taking one turn of sleep, so it does have a chance to wake up. But that's a slow Heatran. He must not have a lot of investment in more bulky. We did get the evasion boost, but I don't like. I don't think it's advantageous to stay in. I think we want to just keep putting on the offense here. Psychic does come out, kill the Heatran. We do outspeed the Feeny as well, which means that it's probably more of a bulky variant, which makes sense on the team comp. Feeny does wake up actually and get the Moon Blast off. We'll see where this is going. It is on the Lele, and that might just kill. Oh, I live. Nice. He brings in Hitmontop, which makes a lot of sense. I actually don't know if Psychic kills Hitmontop. It's not a mon that I really tested when calcing stuff. Um, There's one turn of Tailwind left, I think. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to protect. How many turns of Misty Terrain as well? Yeah. I think protecting is the most optimal here and just switching in Smeargle. Because if it dies, I just get a free switch in back into my... um. Yeah, I get a free switch back into my my top of Lele, which means that I can just like Moonblast Leaf Blade or something the next turn. Oh yeah, I have no idea why I'm not Detect Kartana, so if you guys want to know, I, I actually just have no idea. He just fakes out Smeardle, and he probably just went for Moonblast or something onto my Kartana. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, <laughs> this is nice. Oh, we get the speed rise too, which is kind of cool. Um, ah, that's not actually that cool. It doesn't really offer me a whole lot. I think... Yeah, I'm going to just switch back into Lele. The speed... Oh, that was a misplay. I don't think it'll end up hurting us a whole lot, because, like, I'll still just have the size spam mode option, so like, I don't know how bad it really is. I doubt that him on top has protect as well, so like, either way, we're just going to get a free like, okay, I can deal with that.
If close combat doesn't kill, I think I just win. But I'm pretty sure it does. Hey! And that'll wrap up the game, 100%. Oh, he could have faint. Yeah, if he had faint, that would be really bad. He revealed... I don't want to risk it. Because if I lose Cortana and Lele this turn, then I'm like in a really bad spot. Because like, Smeargle, Blaziken doesn't win. So, I'm going to actually just switch out my Cortana into Smeargle. And I'm going to go for the Moonblast. Onto Hitmontop. I guess he's fake out, Y guard close combat, and then something else. That was a really risky play on my opponent's part, just because, like, not double targeting, I could have just followed me that turn, and I would have won the game immediately at this point. We'll see what he goes for, though. Oh, he has Wide Guard. I was okay. <laughs> Alright, so I get Moonblast off. That'll pick up the knockout on the Hitmon top, and now I should just win. Probably just kills my Lele here. Probably Muddy Watered. And now I get Cartana. Oh, yeah, he's actually Scald? Okay. Yay, okay. So now I get the evasion. Doesn't really matter too much because I have a Cartana in the back. I'm just gonna Moonblast and Struck for the win. Unless I got a speed drop. I did drop speed. Okay, so now I'm just gonna follow me because I think he specs. Moonblast. And my opponent just forfeits because he knows he can't win. So that was a good game one, actually. That was, um, he played really optimally. I think we just positioned ourselves a lot better. Getting rid of the Whimsicott was key, and we actually successfully stalled Tailwind, which is something that this team kind of struggles with. I was actually worried going into the match just because, uh, my losses at, my losses at Collinsville were because of, like, I couldn't stop, like, a Tailwind. Um, like, a speed control was really weird. Speed control that's slower than a double target kill isn't that big of a deal, but, like, something fast, like a Whimscott Tailwind Prankster, that's pretty problematic. But we handled it fine there. We um, got a win, and now we're now going to be at 16-28 with a win-loss of 16 and 9. But my opponent could have done better. Um, he could have played, like, there were a couple of turns where he could have played more optimally. It was definitely... I definitely just positioned myself really well with the Kartana Smeargle Lele. Like, Bla Blaziken was just more like a Charizard check, you know? Uh, getting rid of the Heatran with, like... He, he didn't have, like, safe switches to Psy Spam. Like, at least double Psychics, you know? Like, the Heatran switched in and took 75-ish percent. Like, once this Heatran went down, it meant that uh, Kartana was a lot safer. I know the Heat... And then living the close combat was definitely, like, really huge. I actually have no idea about that role. I do have a little bit of investment, um in HP, but mostly in special defense. So, I actually have no idea. <laughs> but hopefully we can find a match for you guys. Um, This team is a lot of fun. It's it's a hard team to learn. You, uh, It's it's a really hyper offense, and hyper offense is a different play style, especially if you're not like familiar with it. So, but um, it's just a team that I've tested a lot. And like John Mark, he uses a hyper offensive teams as well. So he had, he had a really good success with it. Our next opponent is Dax, with a rating of 7, oh, 1704 from Illinois. Oh boy, okay. This team's really interesting. It's going to be Butterfree. Okay, so it's Butterfree, Vikavolt. Oh gosh. Raichu, Blastoise, Top Lele, Pelipper. So, I think I need to lead Lele. I think I need to lead Lele Smirgle here. He doesn't have anything that can really stop Spore. He doesn't have a lot of things that, like, help against Spore either, but, like, Kartana's the play here. Um, I, man, Blaziken is just, like, it goes with the fast mode. It doesn't really help against Rain, but, like, I can't really bring Torkoal against this just because if they position themselves better with Pelipper, I'm probably in a really bad spot. And also, like, Blastoise just underspeeds me under Tailwind and stuff, so that's just suboptimal. Um, it underspeeds my Kartana, at least, under Trick Room. I didn't mean Tailwind. So Kartana, if I can position myself well with Kartana, get rid of the Raichu, then I think I'm going to have a really good matchup, just because Leaf Blade Instruct is really strong against this team. Um, we're just going to have to see, though. This guy's rating is really high, so he's clearly a 
good at playing optimally, so this will be interesting. I would assume he's probably... One of his things has to have Sash. I'd assume he might just be Scarf. Um, Butterfree. Because, like, his Raichu is probably Electrium. His Pelipper should be Sash. It could be, like, Choice Scarf or something, but, like, I don't think that's really good. Also, he's... I would assume he's Sash Pelipper. So I would assume... Yeah, I'm going to go for... Um, I should live Water Spout. I'm going to go for Psychic on Butterfree, and I'm going to score the Blastoise. Butterfree shouldn't live the Psychic. Uh, I, it could be bulky. I doubt it. I'm going to just spore the Blastoise here. He could be like... Oh, he's probably... Dang. He's probably Tailwind. No, wait. Well, okay. He Mega Evolved, which means that he probably... I guess it really doesn't matter if he Mega Evolved protects here. Charizard really doesn't. Charizard shouldn't, but like... Every other Mega is fine. Butterfree just goes for Rage Powder. Does Psychic just kill? If he sash it doesn't, but that means his other like the other things on his team aren't. He is sash, okay. If both of my Pokemon live, I'm in a phenomenal spot here. Yeah, that doesn't do like near as much damage as it probably should. Oh, we got another speed drop. Okay, so... I think I'm going to just Psychic the Blastoise. And Wide Guard. Speed drops are bad for this team. Like, you don't want to, of course, get speed drops. <laughs> Blastoise does protect, that's obvious. Um, but that just means another. I get another Moody Boost, essentially. His uh, thing can't wake up this turn. So, like... This is pretty safe. Alright, show me speed. Okay, so I revealed Wide Guard. I just Psychic the Butterfree this turn. I definitely Psychic Butterfree, and I think I Sport. I don't think he Water Spouts. Uh, that actually is like a really fair play he could do. Because nobody really wide guards twice, like I didn't. Um, but I think if he Dark Pulses Lele, that's actually okay. As I get the Blastoise to sleep, his Blastoise could also be slow. I doubt it's under the speed. But yeah, he goes for Ice Beam. On to our Lele. I don't know if that kills. Okay, it does. So we do get the Blastoise to sleep, though, which means that we can kind of instruct Spore. Or we, can, we can get Leaf Blades going with Kartana. And we get the speed. Nice. <laughs> Evasion doesn't matter too much. Uh, now we can just kind of safely win. He doesn't have a good answer. He can't protect with Kartana either, so like we're in a phenomenal spot. Okay, so now, I don't, there's no downside to just Leaf Blading the Blastoise here. Leaf Blade Spores, let me make sure I didn't get an Act Drop or something. Yeah, no accuracy, so like I can just Spore the Pelipper here. There's no, there's literally no downplay to that. Blastoise does switch out, what is it going to be into? It is the Vika Volt, um, I'm okay with that. Pelipper protect. Oh, wow. Okay. That was smart. I have Mega Blaziken in the back. We got Evasion. <laughs> His Pelipper is not Sash, but it, there's no way it, like, it doesn't take a Leaf Blade here. Phytinium might just kill the Vika Volt. Oh, it's not very effective. Dang. Okay. 
So, I think the play here... How many turns of Rain are left? Okay. I just protect this turn, I think. I think he goes for the Vikavolt, and I sport... Is he going to switch out Pelipper into Blastoise? That's the question. I'm going to support the Pelipper. I don't think I'm trust. Yeah, okay. So we do get the Protect off. Get the Spore onto the Pelipper, which is really nice. The more turns we burn, the better chance I think we have of winning the game. Totally ignores the Kartana. That makes sense. Um, is he like Life Orb or something? I'm not sure. Maybe I have time to check really fast. I'm actually really curious. Okay, so I got 40 seconds. That's enough time. Maybe. <laughs> Alright, there's Vikavolt. We got Blaziken. Flare Blitz should do hella damage. Yeah, that should do like 75. Oh, it will be really close. Rock Slide does a lot. Okay, yeah, I have to go for, I think Leaf Blade. Flare Blitz is my best play. It'll be it should be close to killing the Vigable. I don't know if it actually kills though. Even in the rain, I think it's still close. Yeah, it could, says it does 76 to 91 percent. If I just crit the Pelipper, I'm in a good spot. Okay, Pelipper stay if it stays asleep, I think we're fine. Okay, stay asleep. Okay, nice. We're, we're, I think we're good. Because Blastoise is also asleep. I'm going to go for the Leaf Blade, obviously. Uh, I kind of want to just... I kind of just want to, like, Flare Blitz the Pelipper... Because I think it'll kill, but like I don't want to. I have to rock to him. I can't risk it not killing. Blastoise stays asleep, so I just probably went for protect here. Please kill. Okay, connected, so we should we should win. That was really uh, this was really scary, guys. Oh wow, did we crit? Or were we at plus one? Yeah, I have no idea. Um. Good game to our opponent. It was a really scary team. I think he played actually pretty smart. I was really worried that he would just switch out, like raw switch his Pelipper into Blastoise. But then he would be burning his like rain turns. So I just think Smeargle was the key focal point in that match. Getting the speed boost was really fortunate, but we also got the speed drop early in the game. It just kind of balances out every once in a while. And you'll notice that when you're running an ability like Moody, like you'll get some good boosts and you'll get some bad boosts. And that's just how it goes. But anyways, uh, we started off 2-0. So we're going to be... Um, really good start to the week where hopefully you guys have enjoyed, enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys, of course, as always, if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Me and Tyler are trying really hard to just, uh, get quality content out there. We're just, we're staying really consistent, which I'm really happy about. So if you guys have any questions, please be sure to hit, uh, we are, me and Tyler are both doing the trainer tower open. So be sure to look out for some of those, like we're going to probably report, um, or like at least go through the replays on showdown and explain our thought process in the matches. And we'll keep you updated on that as well. Uh, anyways, I think that covers everything. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.